it's crazy to think that I didn't even come to the desert until about 10 years ago. And when I first got here, I realized very quickly that this was gonna be a place I was gonna spend a lot of time. I think there's an assumption that the desert is just one type of place, but it's one of the liveliest environments I've ever experienced in my life. Moab is one of the most incredible locations for adventure sports in the world. I'm Ryan Robinson. I am a professional highliner, photographer, and adventure athlete. We are heading down to Moab in the RV to set up a highline over the Looking Glass Arch. And we came here because of how unique this place is. It's this standalone feature that exists just right in the middle of the Moab desert area. And on the other side of the dome is this beautiful cathedral that opens up. And on the side, there's this hole that they call the looking glass. And it peers in to this spot that we decided to rig a highlight. One of the things I love the most about having an RV is that you're having the experience of camping, but you have all the comforts of being at home. Today, we're going to get up the saddle on the backside. When we get to the top, we're gonna to rig up a high line where uh, I'll be walking across the line to the other side of the arch. The biggest thing with establishing the line is just making sure it's all measured out correctly, set up properly, and then the next step is to get the line from point A to point B, and then check, make sure that everything is safe, and then it's time to have fun. It's kind of slippery. All right, I'm on. Sick. Oh yeah. The sport of highlining is the art of walking on a one inch piece of flat rope over any span. Highlining usually exists between two mountains, two cliffs, two buildings, whatever you can think of, we can string a line up between it and walk across it. Lines out. Uh, got a few more things to do before we finish the rig, but it's looking mighty good. The greatest advantage of having an RV is the fact that no matter where you are, you're always home. And no matter what you're doing, you can always come right back and you can cook a meal, get comfortable, or head out to the next adventure. You know when you're a kid and you're like about to go on an adventure the next day and you can't sleep? You're so excited. That's how highlining is. Something that people don't often assume about me is that I'm actually very afraid of heights. But I actually think that that's why I love highlining so much, because it gives me this thing to work on constantly. It's never easy for me. I'm highlining, there's a series of, of emotions. So it's a very vulnerable experience. But when you're up there on the line and there's one inch of fabric between you and falling, you have no choice. You just have to be vulnerable. You have to allow that to enter into the experience.
had a conversation once with a friend, and he gave me a piece of advice. And he said, if you want to live a life that no one else gets to live, you need to be willing to live a life that no one else is willing to live. So when the time came in my life where I decided to become a professional highliner, I knew that I was going to have to make sacrifices to do that, to be able to be anywhere at any moment. If I had to pinpoint one thing that created the most opportunity in my adventurous life, it is having an RV.